So I've been super excited to share with you guys how to take a shower inside of your van. So with this shower setup from Wild Republic, um, I love it because it's a canvas bag and then you have this brass shower head here that creates a rain shower. It rains down, which just feels absolutely amazing. So I'll do one kettle full of water and then I'll pour that right into the canvas bag and then I will add tap water. The water's already poured into here. Then up above, we have the extendable rods, tension rods, that just secure on a little metal piece right here. So yeah, that is secure. And that's what it looks like. And then what you do is you put your shower liners in the middle of just a dog bath. And this thing does fold down to a very small size for easy storage. And just make sure to put the, again, the shower liners inside so the water actually will stay contained in here. And then just keep your towels and your shower items easily accessible. So in order to start the rain shower head, you just pull this lever down there you have it a shower from inside of your van this breakdown is just as easy as the setup for this indoor shower in the van. What you need is this funnel and I'll put a link in the description so you guys can purchase that. And I have a three gallon container. So obviously not going to use more than three gallons for your shower. And then you're just going to set this on top here. So make sure you're level because if you're not, obviously it's going to tilt over. When you're done, you simply replace the cap. You can take this to wherever you dump your gray water. So super easy and cute. Hemp twine uh, to make it aesthetically pleasing and to match some of my interiors inside the van. And then after we're done pouring out the dirty water, you would just take a microfiber towel and dry the inside of your shower and then collapse it and then put it back in storage. And then with your shower, you simply remove it from the hook. So take it down, dry it out, and then put it with everything else that's stored. So a really awesome setup that you can do from inside your van, the comfort of your own space. And it's a self shower because no one has to know that you're taking a shower in here. It's a great alternative to doing wet wipes or doing like a sponge bath, this is an actual shower. And that's what I love about it so much. So these are my friends, Amy and Justin. <laughs> and this is Ollie. Okay, so what I've done is I've done a, uh, a magnet mount. You can buy them at Lowe's, okay. like 30 bucks. Instead of drilling through your roof, which I've done before, yeah. it's not a problem to drill through your roof. Yeah. It's just what ends up happening is, is you have to seal it correctly with yeah. like a urethane or something like that, which yep. is fine. I just didn't want you to have any issues, any leaks. Yes. And then one bolt through the roof is just one bolt through the roof. So, okay. you know, as far as weight wise, you're only going to probably put a couple gallons in this thing of water. Yeah. So I figured a magnet mount would be the best. Okay. So 
bought the magnet mount. I cut out your headliner. I mounted it perfect to where it would meet this rail right here. Yeah. That way there it would have the most magnetic force okay. because you're hooking the magnet mount to it. Yeah. So pretty simple. So I cut out your headliner, marked it with a pencil, cut it out, and I just put the magnet up in there. Okay. I painted the magnet so it's not a bright red. Oh, you know wow. I mean? Okay. I figured you wouldn't want to stare at something that's bright red, obviously. <laughs> so um, when you put it on, I also took the hook. Instead of making it a circle, I made yeah. it more of a hook so you can hook it on. Okay. I put it in my vise and bent it that way for you. I know you oh, like wow. all the details on this stuff. Pretty simple. But, <laughs> um, and then tension rods I used, um, but before I mounted them like solid in here, I didn't know where you wanted them. So I kind of kind of wanted you to come in here, sit. So um, all you do is you just take your tension rod, put it over your screw there, over your um, the head of your nut actually there, yeah. and then just twist it. And it's a tension rod, so it's designed to just tighten up when you twist. That's awesome. And then that's it. And then, you know, obviously it's good. I wouldn't yeah. hang off it, but right. you know, just for Don't your pull curtain. ups. Yeah, yeah. yes, ma'am. You're good. <laughs> so, and it's I did it. Episode. Oh, and um, <laughs> Dustin is a happily yeah. married man, you guys, so yeah, don't, don't be that. creepy in the comments. That. <laughs> That's his wifey. Ooh. <laughs> you can hook it like this? Yeah. But if it were me, because it's so... I have to hook it up higher, I think. Yeah, see how yeah. low it is? Yeah. Um, can you so, hook it up under that bolt? Yeah, so what I did is I designed it to where you put it right up yep. over the top And like then you that. just sit. That's awesome. And you can sit underneath and you can shower. That's awesome. That's so, so exciting. This and you is, did that how? You put... Um, I put a, um, a just a knot in a washer okay. and I, I drilled through the um, center of the fabric. And then again, yeah. he, this is like a... Just uh, magnet mount. Yes, magnet mount. Yep. Cool. 150 pound magnet. Cool. So. Nice. Guys, they have electric bikes too and they're going to let me take it for a spin. So I am excited. All right. Just a little. Oh. You got it. You got it. Oh. <laughs> 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 she has a base.